Hi all, welcome to the very first video of the new academic year um, from me. Um, just to welcome you all back, I do hope you've had a great summer and you've enjoyed it. The weather was good to us um, for a change, so I really do hope you had a lovely time with your children. Um, lots of information in this video for you, including just reference to our newsletter that you should have received this week, um, as well as some other letters and just key information for this year and this coming term, the autumn term. Hello to all of our new reception parents welcome it's good to have you with us and um, those of you that have been with us for a number of years um, welcome back to you too as you do know you don't have to make an appointment at Rent's Nest if you want to check something or speak to a member of staff you just come and somebody will come and have a chat with you uh, have a great weekend if you have got any questions don't hesitate to pop in and see us that's what we're here for have a lovely weekend see you all next week bye bye I really do hope that you've had a great summer break and enjoyed some time in the sun. We were very lucky this year in terms of the amount of sun that we had um, and time to enjoy being outside in the fresh air. So whatever you got up to um, with family and friends, I hope you've had a great time. Lovely to see so many of you back. Um, and as you will find out later, we've had great attendance in school this week. This week you have received our welcome back newsletter and it really is a huge welcome back. It talks a lot about um, highlights that we've had as well as the relaunch of our full enrichment programme including trips and visits, visitors into school as well as after school clubs um, and I do know that many of you are looking forward to that programme starting. Details of that will follow very shortly but any questions that you do have following the newsletter please contact us and we'd be happy to help. Head over to our school website to take a look at our new enrichment planner. This just details the proposed trips and visits uh, for your children this year, uh, throughout the year in the different terms that are linked to our curriculum. Uh, you will have seen letters that have come out to you this week um, in looking at ways you can support us with this trips and visits planner um, and how you can support us financially um, to be enable this to happen. Um, if you've got any questions about the trips or visits or the enrichment programme, um, as always, don't hesitate to contact us. Take a look at our highlights from last year. Just a wonderful reminder of what a fantastic year of celebration, new events, being back together, just what it was last year, it genuinely was a really great year for Wren's Nest. So if you want a couple of minutes um, to just re-look at your children's successes here at Wren's Nest, head over to the website, it's on the front page, and just spend maybe two minutes with a cuppa, um, just reliving those highlights. As you know, promoting good attendance at Wren's Nest um, has always been a priority for us and we've always had great attendance. In the last few years, as you know, COVID has impacted upon that and we are really keen this year to get back to our gold attendance assemblies to recognise those children who have got gold attendance, 97 7, 97% and above um, and support those children in maintaining that attendance. This year we have a brand new attendance policy and it explains all the procedures and the key people in school um, that you need to know as parents who will support attendance, um, monitor attendance and enable at school to have great attendance. I always think attendance underpins a, a life, it's a key life skill that we learn no matter what um, we do in our futures, attending things on time and attending regularly um, is beneficial for us all. So it's a great habit to get into at the youngest possible age. Take a look at this policy. You can view it on our website, but if you did want a paper copy, um, pop into the office. Take a look and of course, if there's any questions, let us know. Breakfast Club is back, it started this week and I am so pleased to say we have had so many of you attend, over a hundred children each day uh, joining together to start their day with smiles and laughter as well as a little bit of breakfast. If you do want your child to come, no need to book, it's 8.20 in the morning um, just at the Breakfast Club door. You can see it with a sign um, and they can start their day right. Um, but you're welcome and if they want to bring a friend, they can do too. 
Our full programme of enrichment activities is back this year. It was a graduated approach last year with some being back because this time last year, you wouldn't believe it, it was still under some restrictions. Um, but now we're hopefully back to the full programme of enrichment. That includes our after school clubs, trips and visits, visitors into school, um, our tuition programme. Um, looking forward to welcoming all of our lovely children to take part in this programme. Um, after school clubs, details of the these will be out to you in the next few weeks um, and your child can take part in one of these clubs um, and there's a whole host that will be on offer so look out for that but it is really pleasing to say that after such a long time of disruption we are getting back to our full program of enrichment activities. As you already know we have a full adult education package for you our families. We are really excited to announce that Job Club is now supported by the YMCA charity. This is held on Monday afternoons in the Adult Education Room. If you're interested, um, please, please come and visit. Um, just come into the main reception and the people that are involved will be happy to help. Our family support workers, Julie and Tracy, will be there to support you. Um, and it will be a great opportunity for you to search for jobs locally to help you either regain employment um, or find employment for the very first time. What a wonderful way to show your children um, the great aspirations for the future. And we thank YMCA for their support. As you already know, Park Safe at Wren's Nest. Um, you know keeping children uh, and families safe is my top priority at Wren's Nest. So as you come to collect your children from school, please remember to park safely, um, not only for our families and school community, but most importantly, our children. Parking on the yellow zigzag, li zigzag lines isn't safe um, and it's against the law. So please don't park on the zigzag lines um, and there are parking spaces around or if you live close maybe um just take a set out five minutes earlier and walk down to collect your children thank you for helping um to keep children and families at, at wren's nest safe while they're on their journey to and from school by not parking on the, the zigzag lines and just remembering to park as safely as you can um, when you do collect and drop off your children at school just to let you know who our trusted adults are, you've seen this slide before, but there are a couple of changes for this academic year. We teach our children in school about the importance of trusted adults and the relationship they can have with those adults if they ever need them to tell them anything or for them to help them in any way they can. All of our grown-ups in school, all of the staff, are trained um, to safeguard children and it it will always be the most important priority for us here at Wren's Nest. Just a few key changes um, this year. Miss Harris has become our deputy safeguarding lead. So she is the lady that looks after the deputy designated safeguarding leads. And that's myself, um, Mrs Parks, that's Mrs Smith, who you'll see on the gate, and also Mrs Cadman, who you will also see on the gate, who joined us last year. Mrs Vivash is having um, her baby, and she's had the baby, and is looking after him at home. Um, so at the moment, she's not here, she's on maternity leave, but the four of us um, are in school to ensure that all staff keep your children um, as safe as possible. Well done to all of you, our excellent readers, trying really hard to read new words, learn new sounds, read new genres of books, but also develop your understanding of what you are reading. Right across our school, lots of different skills gained to be able to read. Um, a huge well done to you. We are proud of you. Keep up the excellent work. Now for our Mathematicians of the Week, let's see who they are in early years, key stage one, and who are rock stars of the week. Who's been on TT rock stars um, in key stage two, that's years three, four, five and six. Not only are we celebrating academic achievement and progress in literacy and maths, um, we're also celebrating our super scientists at Wren's Nest. So well done to all of you who have tried and tested things, found out how things work and found out the way in which things in our world work the way they do.
well done to all of you. Keep up the excellent science work. I know Miss Wire is very proud of you. As you all know, attendance is a really important part of Wren's Nest and all we hope to achieve for your child. We've had another great week of attendance in school. Thank you to all of you that get children up, get them in a routine. We know it's been hard um, since the, the national lockdown and the partial school closure. But thank you for all your support with this. We've had, a, as I've said, a great week of attendance. So let's see which class have won this week. Why not email us um, if you've done a piece of work at home that you want to share with us. Um, if you've got any questions, please email your teacher. This is a year group email that will get to them. Um, anything that you'd like to, to use it for to contact your um, class teacher um, to just communicate great work or to ask any questions. As always, please stay connected, pass on any information you receive to people that you know who don't receive it um, and Parent Hub and the school website are the best places to go to access the most up-to-date information. As you know, we've got our school mobile telephones. We've now got two. Here are the school mobile numbers um, to be able to drop a message, um, particularly if it's about attendance and your child's not attending due to illness. Um, you, that's a way of communicating with us. We've got our main school office line and also our email address. Um, you can use WhatsApp on our school mobile and that's just to communicate um, anything that um, you need to tell us um, to aid communication. Or if your child has done something wonderful at home um, related to any home learning they've done, you can share it with us. Um, please use the school mobiles to do so.